hundred, but cross that bridge, you know. Is this a Japanese thing? No, Chinese. The Japanese have a whole other thing going on. Griffin, say hello to Opie's replacement, Stella. Nice to meet you. Well, what, what, what is this? We doing a new secret handshake now? No, Griffin, she's deaf. Oh. Can she read lips? Yes, I can. So, if I do this, I can talk about what a sweet rack she has? Yes, but try not to make a boob-honking gesture with your other hand while you're saying it. Hey, Peter, you ready to go to the clam? Oh, who's the hot chick? Oh, that's Stella. You don't have to whisper. She's deaf. Really? Oh, my God, that's hot. I didn't know you had a thing for deaf chicks. Any kind of disabled chick, Peter. They can do things to you that regular chicks don't even think of. Besides, you know me. I'm into a lot of different stuff. Don't do that. Yeah, this is what you are, and this is what I am. Peter, hurry up. You're missing dinner. Excuse me? Boy, I wonder where the shampoos are around here. I said, I wonder where the shampoos are around here. Oh, for God's sake, I almost thought you were a regular person. Where's the shampoo? Hey, uh, you guys enjoy the carnival. I'm gonna get a drink at the bar. Hey, uh, anyone sitting here? No, go ahead. Thanks. Hey, would you like to go out sometime? Wow, that was fast. Yeah, well, you know, I read somewhere that women decide within the first seven seconds if they're interested in you or not, so I figured I wouldn't waste anybody's time. Listen, you know, we can do something else if you want. Why? I'm having a good time. Well, I mean, I just don't know how much fun it is for a blind person to go to the movies. Brian, blind people go to the movies all the time. We just listen. I might be blind, but my brain has been trained to listen to any movie and know exactly what's happening on screen. Like, I love Titanic. Ugh, our stupid neighbor's dog barks 24-7. God, I hate dogs. Y you do? Yeah, they're just slobbery, annoying, needy little bastards. I'm just not really a dog person, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, me neither. Dog people can get pretty annoying. I mean, not was one of the dwarves named Snappy? Kind of well-dressed, or am I, am I just making that up? No! Oh my god, Dad! Dad, are you okay? Damn it, I hate these new stairs. Yeah, yeah, fine. I'll just, I'll, I'm just gonna lie here until the pain goes away. Brian, if I ever take up roller derby, what do you think my name should be? Bruzen B. Anthony, Alicia Sleaze, or Cohag? How about Harlot Oscara? Oh, you dick, that's genius. How'd your date go? Oh, went great. We had an awesome time. She's really smart, really funny. Cute? Yeah, hot, actually. I don't know how she does it, but she dresses really well for a blind girl. I mean, like her body... No, actually, she doesn't want a seeing eye dog. She hates dogs. What? She doesn't like dogs. She's just... Not a dog person. What? Does she not know you're a dog? How is that possible? Well, we we haven't done anything yet, so I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna avoid touching her until a little more time has passed. And by the time I tell her, I'll have impressed her so much that the dog thing won't even matter. Look, you can't expect to hire sixty workers to dig a cave under your house and then keep it a secret. I mean, those men live in this town. Yeah, but I told them it was part of a geological survey. Batman, Batman. They built a lazy Susan for your nuclear car. That's something they consider conversation-worthy. <laughs> this guy's tough! <clears throat> no fair, he knows karate. Usually handsome guys ain't so good with their fists. <clears throat> and stay away from my girlfriend! Brian, I know karate too. I can help you! You stay out of this, lady! <clears throat> Do you? You have an amazing sense of smell. Oh, there it is. There's what? Oh, nothing, just the uh, Goodyear blimp. It says, I love you, Kate, all in lights. <gasps> Here? In Paris? Yeah, it's uh, it's here for Wimbledon or something. Oh my god, that's the most romantic thing anybody's ever done for me. Damn it! Oh my god, Peter, are you okay? No, I am not okay! Nothing about this is okay! You just need to be more careful coming down the stairs, that's all. I just... It's, I like you a lot, and I, I don't want to ruin anything by moving too fast, you know? Because... Sometimes, when you... Hmm. Brian, you never told me you had a beard. I love beards. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, I, hey, I'm bearding it up over here. <laughs> hey, Brian. Stewie, I need your help. What? What is it? I have a crisis situation here. Kate wants me to meet her parents. Hey, guys. I'm just gonna... Gonna take this. Thank you. What the hell am I gonna do? 
All right, all right, just calm down. Calm down? We're all supposed to have dinner tomorrow night, and her parents are gonna see that I'm a dog. Yeah. Peter, what is all this? Oh, hi, Lois. I live upstairs now. What? That's right. I made a nest of my old underwears on which to lay my eggs, and I shall raise my young in this room alone. Peter, you're being an idiot. Oh, really? Would an idiot have been able to rig this rig to that rig? <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm fine. I'm just sort of bandaged up right now. You must be Kate's parents. It's so nice to meet you. Well, it's lovely to meet you, too. So what happened? What happened is this one's a hero is what happened. Rescued two children from a burning building. Can you imagine? Not quite in time. They were both horribly burned. They have that sort of creme brulee face going on now. But he saved their lives. Oh, my God. I am so, so sorry. Uh, it's no problem. Don't worry about it. What's that smell? It smells like wet dog in here. That is... The, s the smell of backed-up, unreleased genital essence. As I said, he's been an amazing gentleman. Ah! Uh, oh, uh, damn it! I meant hold it, not cut it off! You weren't specific. I've never done this before. Are you okay, Brian? Yeah, I'm just so happy to meet you both. Uh, what the hell are you... cauterizing your tail. Trust me, I'm a nurse. Uh... <sighs> I'm so sorry, Kate. I, I know you hate dogs, and I... I wanted to tell you, I, I really did, but I, I just thought... I, I thought if we got to know each other better first, you'd eventually be able to see past it. <laughs> Brian, I know you're upset about what happened with Kate and everything, but I did have one more thought. Yeah, what's that? Well, since Kate is blind, you could probably just do a different voice and go out with her all over again. God, you know, I, I don't know why this guy's wife isn't here watching this stuff. If I were her, I'd be here every show. There's a kitty cat riding on the train. Thanks, everybody. See you next week. Yay! He's a good singer. Yeah, I've been catching his library shows since there were only like three or four kids here. You should have been here, man. Those were the shows. Stewie, do you want to be the Autobots or the Decepticons? What's with all these labels, man? Autobots, Decepticons, gay, straight. Just pick a few robots and let's party. Hey, what's going on in here? Oh, hello, Brian. We're playing Transformers. Oh, cool. Who's this little guy? It's my new friend, Scotty. Do you mind? We're busy. Oh. Hi, doggy. You want to play with us? All right, all right, relax. I, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll be this guy over here. That's He-Man. We're playing Transformers. Well, maybe this is the one where He-Man visits. Brian, how is He-Man supposed to get to Cybertron? Hey, up, up, and away, right? He-Man doesn't fly. Look, why are you being such a dick about this? I'm just trying to join in. Oh, I'm getting some steam. Picking up steam here, Scotty. You better look out. I don't feel so well. Uh, kind of bad timing, but... Jin. Hey, Lois, that not Stewie kid fell over. Oh, my God, he's unconscious. Peter, what happened? Oh, my God. I are you saying Scotty has cancer? I don't know. I didn't read the whole Wikipedia entry, but the good news is that what he has is highly treatable, with radiation first and, if necessary, chemotherapy. <coughs> oh, for God's sake. What? We're Christian scientists. We don't accept medical care for ourselves, and we don't permit it for our children. But your son has cancer! Wait a minute, Christian science? Is that, is that that thing all them gay-bo Hollywood actors do to keep their stuff away from other guys' butts? Don't you understand? Scotty needs help! And he'll get it. Through faith. Illusions? You want to talk about illusions? If you die tomorrow, you think we're going to be devastated, but you know what? We're just going to go out and buy another dog. And maybe this dog will fetch a stick and bring me my slippers instead of prattling on about the pros and cons of various religions. Chris, I think you've had too much sugar cereal. I think I haven't had enough. Who was King Louis XII? Oh, I'm sorry, Peter. We were looking for King Louis XI. Ah, damn it, I knew that. Ah, well, me and the with a big black King Louis XI. Tim, select. Science and Health with Key to the Scriptures by Mary Baker Eddy. Let me see that. This is your god? A woman? Well, she's the founder of our faith. Oh, really? So with this book from the 1800s, you can pray away paralysis or terminal illness? Look, I'm a churchgoer too, but sometimes prayer isn't enough. He needs professional medical care. You know, Lois, this couch would be perfect for one of your red wine pass-outs. Look, we appreciate your concern, Lois, but Scotty is our son, and we have to tend to him as we see fit. I know it's frustrating, Lois, but the fact is there are no laws that say those people have to take their child to the doctor. How can that be? Children are citizens, too. They should have rights. Well, it's a tricky area, Lois. 
You could file a suit, but that could take months. And even then, there's no guarantee the court wouldn't support the parents' right to practice their religion. It's too bad we're not Dragonheart. Then we could just fly around on a dragon and forget about all this. You know what? That's exactly what we should do. What? What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about us going in there and taking that kid and getting him some help. I mean, I know it's wrong, but it's better than just letting him die. All right. All the lights are out. They must be asleep. It's go time. Now, what the hell was that? That's what you do, Lois. Okay, now take this walkie-talkie and confirm that I'm at the various checkpoints. Ah, uh, okay. Peter up on a telephone pole? Peter in an open airplane door, slapping other Peters on the back as they parachute out. Go, 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 check! Super gymnastic Asian Peter, contorted into a box that will be delivered into the house. Hey! Peter, who hasn't answered because something has gone terribly wrong. Okay, so I'll go get the baby, and while I'm doing that, maybe you do something about that snatchy tone. Lois, is this the right one? Shh, Peter! Yes! Now, come on! What was that? I don't know. It came from Scotty's room. Don't you worry, Scotty. We're gonna get you to the hospital and get you the medical attention you need. Yeah, hang in there, buddy. When this is over, we can get some ice cream. Me and Lois can get some ice cream, not you. They're gonna be sticking needles in you everywhere. You know, Peter, you were right. This is actually kind of a rush. I mean, look at us. We're like Thelma and Louise. Yeah, but we all know that didn't end well for them. Lois, Peter, stop right there. You're under arrest for kidnapping. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over the baby and surrender. Joe? Please get out of our way. I promise when this is over, I'll gladly go to prison for the rest of my life, but not until I bring this defenseless child into the hospital to get him the treatment he deserves. Yes, it's what we do. Well, then isn't it possible that penicillin, vaccines, and antibiotics are all actually answered prayers? And isn't it possible that the amazing men and women of medicine who brought about these miracles could be the instruments of God's answers to our prayers? All right, Lois. Scotty can have his treatment. Oh, thank you. Thank you, and God bless you both. Hey, everybody, we're all gonna get laid. <laughs> you hear that, Stewie? Looks like your little friend's gonna be okay. Well, I don't care about him. I've got a new friend who's got leprosy. Ah, 